Hi guys, welcome back. So today's topic is function composition. And we're going to start off with f of x being x squared minus 5 and g of x being 2x plus 3. Alright, so function composition, what is it? That is when we put one function into another function or when we use one function in order to compose another one. So let's put it as when we compose one function with another. So they kind of go inside of each other. All right, the notation that we use for this, and I'm going to explain what it is with the examples, but we do tend to use something like f of g of x, or sometimes we'll write it a little bit different and we'll like separate these. So it's f and like a little dot, g, and then that goes in a parentheses and the x goes on the outside. So these two mean exactly the same thing. They just look different, but they mean the same thing. And we'll go back and forth with the examples as well. The way that we pronounce these is that this right here is pronounced f of g of x. So think about every time you have parentheses, that's the word of. All right, so f of g of x. Those were all the parentheses. That's what the parentheses mean, of. Okay, the other one is pronounced exactly the same because they are the same thing. All right, so notice how the F in this is in the same place. F is first, G second, X is third. All right, so let's go with the examples. So if I wanted to rewrite this with the other notation, so let's say number one, this would say F, that little dot, G, and then on the outside, it'll be a one. Okay, so same thing. I can go back and forth with the notation. You can see this anywhere. Okay, so this is what it means. I'm going to kind of go back here and stick with this one. I do prefer that one. I think it looks nicer and it's easier to kind of see what's happening. All right, so whenever we're doing it with numbers, I do suggest always working from the inside out. So with numbers, inside out. This is just my preference. So the first thing that you're going to do is figure out what's g of 1. So let me just rewrite this on this side. I'm just going to rewrite that first one so we know that we're using that one. And my first goal right here is to, hey, let me figure out what is g of 1. Let me not even write this right here. It may confuse you. So this is the first thing I want to figure out. What's g of 1? So I'm going to go to my g of x function, and I'm going to do what we've been doing this whole time. We're going to substitute the 1 there. Oops, sorry, that's a plus. And I get 2 plus 3, so that's 5. So if g of 1 equals 5. So right, so now let's go back here. And because now we know that g of 1 is 5, now I'm going to replace it. This is now going to be f of 5. So now I need to figure out what is f of 5. So this is, again, my side work here. So I'm going to go to my f of x function, and I'm going to substitute the 5. 5 squared is 25, minus 5, so I get 20. Therefore, this is 20. Final answer, kind of like my conclusion, f of g of 1 equals 20. Okay, so notice that here we composed this by putting the 1 into the g first, and then we use that and we put it into the f, and that's why it's called function composition, because we're putting something inside of a function, then we're putting in another function, so we're just composing all right, let's go with the next one. So again, I'm also going to switch the notation for this one. So follows, again, the same order. Okay, so G goes on the outside, parentheses, F, parentheses, X, and close all of the parentheses. So this is G of F of X. So this one's a little different. Notice how it has an X and it doesn't have a number. So whenever, so whenever we have... Um, an X, so there's different ways you can do it. I tend to go with, let me work from the outside in. So this is my preference, but I'm going to show you two ways to do in this one. So my preference is to do it from outside in. So that means that I'm going to go to the outside. Let me 
kind of worry about this one right here. So I'm going to worry about G first. So what I'm going to do is just rewrite G. Let me do it with a different color. So I'm going to rewrite G. So G of X was 2X plus 3. And instead of the X, I'm just going to put a parentheses because that's what's going to be my blank and that's where I'm going to be substituting. All right, so that was my G of X. And then I'm just going to take my F of X and put it in here. Now f of x in this case, <coughs> excuse me, is x squared minus 5. So I'm just putting in x squared minus 5. Now if it's easy to simplify, feel free to simplify. If it's too difficult, you don't have to. You don't ever have to. All right, so this is 2x squared minus 10 plus 3. 2x squared minus, what, 7? 8, 9, 10, yes, okay. So therefore, g of f of x equals 2x squared minus 7. All right, so some things to keep in mind. If you start off with a variable, your final answer is going to be an expression or an equation. See, it has an equal sign there. Versus if you start off with a number, my final answer is a number. All right, so here's the other way that you can do this one, number two. Here's the first way, option one, and we'll do option two. So let's just rewrite the g of f of x. Okay, so here's what some people like to do. Just They tend to also work from the inside out. So they will actually just replace this f of x with the actual expression. So in this case, f of x is x squared minus 5, so they rewrite g of x squared minus 5. And now you have to substitute. So now you're going to go to g of x, and I'm going to substitute it with the x squared minus 5 plus 3. Okay, so same thing but it's just, it just looks a tiny bit different when we start off. All right, and there we go. That's it for today.